from the prepper conference, I pulled a lot of my um, things out of uh, creeks and wells, and and I pulled my uh, Rife Ram pump out. And while I have ha got it out of the creek, I wanted to show you uh, the inner workings of a Ram pump. And this might give you some ideas of, about building your own. Um, this is a great pump, the Ram, the Rife Ram 20 SU. But to buy this pump today is around $2,100. And uh, that's I bought this pump for $850 uh, 12 years ago. It is now $2,100. So we know how our dollar is doing. Anyway, what I want to do is put in a, uh, a rebuild kit, a gasket kit. And I just ordered a gasket kit for this. You can see there's uh, various gaskets here. And so I took some of the bolts off. This ram is a two inch ram. I've had it modified, had it machined to be a double acting ram. See down here, there's two exits. There is the normal delivery and then machined in here a uh, three quarter inch port to bring in spring water. I just got a cap now because I'm running it as a single acting, acting ram. But you can bring spring water in here and it will not mix with the pond water that runs up here. So it's an amazing little invention in terms of being able to, if you're able to do that, actually have a, a creek or a pond that can run the ram, but you have a spring that you want to drink out of, this is, a, is an option. Okay, what do we have here? All right, let's start with, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this thing on a tripod so I don't drive you crazy. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've taken uh, some of the bolts loose to speed this video up. And what I'm removing here is the counterbalance, the waste valve or impetus valve. Um, this is the valve that clacks. Some people call it the clack valve. Um, this is the waste valve, and it has an adjustable counterweight on it. You can run up and set that helps determine the amount of water being pumped. I'm going to set that off to the side for now. Um, you see the gaskets, and they're worn. So what I'm going to do is put I'm going to put some brand new gaskets in this uh, in this pump. And what else? Okay, that's the waste valve. That's the bladder. That's the air chamber. There's no bladder in it. This is uh, where pressure is built up um, and to, to rebound the ram. Set that over here. That also has a, a gasket. Got a new one right there. So put those together. Inside here is your check valve. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually take that apart. Um, before I put a, well, I've had a, <laughs> just a simple silly story. I um, had a, I had a f uh, strainer on the other end in the pond that went bad. It kind of rotted out. It was metal. And uh, anyway, got down to where the ram wasn't working one day and I had to take this thing apart. And a fish had gotten down into the ram and actually tried, was the ram extruded it up into this um uh, area under the bladder and uh, it didn't smell too good so there's a little uh, bluegill that was that came in here I don't know if you can see the holes you can see the holes right here where the water actually is forced up and that this is the check valve so the water actually shoots in here there's actually another gasket underneath here too um, so hopefully you're Following along on that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm going to take everything apart on this. I know you're saying, "Where's the socket?" Well, this pump was designed in the 1700s, so I'm I'm old school on it here today. Okay, I'll go ahead. And lubricate these bolts while I got them out. Again, this thing's running in water 24-7, so it does see some corrosion. Okay. Rubber hammer. Take that off. That gasket's in pretty good shape. See these old castings? I don't know if you can see that. 
should be able to see that. They're pretty cool. Yeah, the fish actually got just kind of extruded through there into the other side, so you can kind of imagine what that looked like. Anyway, didn't smell too good. So, okay, this gasket is at Okay, I've cleaned everything out. Got these nice new gaskets. My old gaskets are really not in bad shape. So I'm gonna package them back up and I'm gonna keep them as a backup set. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a new set of gaskets in this in this ram. And uh, I plan on watering all our gardens and um, here um, on our retreat with this baby. So and a homemade one. I'll show. Well, you've already seen that. And so what I'm gonna do is. Uh, Put this thing back together. Now you don't want to see all of this put back together on video. It would take too long, or I'm too slow, one or the other. I do want to I'm going to keep these bolts in good shape. Like I said, this thing's in water 24-7. Everything's in good shape on this. Again, I've used this ram for about 12 years. Maybe a little longer. Okay, I'm just kind of going to give you the gist. Basically, when you see this valve, that's a check valve. And the water actually shoots up in there and, and blows out. The pressure in the chamber keeps it sealed. And so I put a new one in there. And it's interesting, there's a lot... I've it's a lot thicker than the thin one. I'm going to try the thick one this year. I've got a thin one like that was in it, but I'm going to try this thicker check valve and I'm just going to give it a shot. And typically what you do once you get it in there is just kind of, you want to be able to turn it when you lock the bolts down. So anyway, you really just need to see, I won't walk you through the whole thing. Then the new base gasket. put all these other gaskets in a nice bucket when they get done and seal it up. So the base gasket goes in, got a new gasket here, a new gasket here, new base gasket, so three three gaskets there, and then the air chamber is okay returning to putting the gaskets in, I put a new gasket in the waste waste valve. And there are three adjusters that level the valve out so that it seals correctly. And you can tell when it's running. You might be spitting water out more on one side than on the other. And you can adjust. It's got a three-way adjuster. And this, again, is to tighten up the, the valve itself. You can see this. There's a spring here and an adjusting rest. And you can see you can adjust the amount of travel. There's many ways to adjust the amount of water flow on a ram. A ram that's like this. So I can crank this down or I can let it come up so you just have a very short little... Um, travel on the, the waste valve. And then the counterweight of adjusting is, is also a part of it. So I've cleaned the ram out. I've put new gaskets, one, two, three gaskets there, and I've tightened everything up here. This, you can see this is spinning just kind of finger tight. That's the way it's supposed to be. The water will actually shoot in. You see it flexes a little bit, and that'll shoot the water in here. The delivery right here is where the water will go out. So put this air chamber back on and uh, that's going to get uh, bolted on there and I won't uh, bore you with all of those details so what I'll do is just show basically go around with uh, this thing has uh, six six three quarter inch bolts and so I'll bolt that up and now the chamber now I've got a new new valve in here one of these days I'm going to have to make a new rest, but um, I think we're good for now. And then this sits down. Ho ho! Getting ahead of myself. I've got my base gasket. I've got a new base gasket here. And that will sit in here, just like that. And then I can put the base valve on. Okay, folks, we've put this uh, baby back together, just uh, lubricated everything, and uh, just did a little maintenance. So I've got the counterweight sliding nicely, and I can adjust that to where I want. My rests are lubricated and adjusted. 
my waste valve working and clacking away just nicely. Let me tighten this up so we don't have all that rattle. You hear that pumping? Okay, everything's tight. Um, the gaskets, sometimes I will go, I'll take my wrenches with me down to the creek and just uh, tighten up a few things. You want to make sure these are tight. I got to go around and, and just reseat this gasket here on the air chamber, but everything inside is good to go. I've got this uh, snifter loose here to make some fine tuning adjustments. But anyway, put in all the gaskets. I'm going to, and these are really not that bad, so it's great to have a backup set of gaskets for this pump. And so I'm going to put them in a, seal them up in a bucket and put them away. And uh, we'll be. We're in business, so I got a good backup set. Pump's ready to go, and uh, should work for the next 12 years. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you to see the inside, the workings of a hydraulic ram pump. Let's go. Okay, folks, this is going to wrap up this uh, ram pump video. I've reinstalled the ram. See it thumping away. Okay, give you water everywhere. So you saw the the inner workings of the ram. We got a 38, 38 PSI on the gauge. That means we're oh, probably hey, about 87 feet in elevation. Um, told you about this waste valve. I'm going to adjust this counterweight so you can get a different an idea of what I'm talking, what I was talking about. See, you can hear the difference. Slow it down. Slow it down. You slow it down. You actually pump more water. And I can run it all the way down, and it's. A lot quicker. And all automatic from the two inch pipe out of my dam. Can't beat this folks for pumping water. Fully adjustable. Tune it in any way you want to. I'm gonna put it about three quarters here. Alright. Got my snifter valve here letting a little more air in the air tank. Let a little bit more air in. Tighten the lock screw on this. Okay, folks, this is the goal. This is the last part of the ram, I promise. Um, pumping water at final destination, 87 feet above. I'm pumping into a 300 gallon stock tank. The ram fills that, and then I return. I'm putting a different screen on here. So I'm just having it run out here so you can see that that's how much water that ram is pumping. I've actually got probably 1,800, well the way it's set right now, close to 2,000 gallons a day. So 1,440 gallons is a gallon a minute, so you know, one and a half, one to one and a half gallons a minute that ram's pumping at, I'll just say 90 feet above it, which is kind of totally awesome. But if you're a water geek like I am that's that's exciting because that's free water folks that's electricity no electricity that's the ram pump just thumping away down there so all right I've taken the ram apart put it back together with new gaskets it's performing flawlessly and just pumping and delivering water from our pond up to our cows and chickens and our gardens so anyway it's pond water yes a little we wouldn't drink this but we could filter it but for all of our needs, this is great water for gardens, and we're in full swing of that. So, any questions?